here is an addition that we built um, about a year ago um, for a homeowner up on the mountain in outside of Taos, New Mexico. Uh, what's unique about this project is we had an existing house and this part on the right was existing and this part on the left was existing and the homeowner asked us what what can we do to enclose this small space that's in here he wanted a place to go outside and smoke a cigar um, right off of his bedroom and right off of his office that was enclosed yet still have a view of the mount the mountains that he's his house is built in so we had a small area basically about 10 feet by 10 feet that he wanted to enclose and he asked us to make it dynamic and kind of fit in with the uh, existing architecture it's kind of it's a contemporary house um, and so I was presented with uh, some leftover Quantit Hut steel panels and so we um, we decided that we were able to use them and make them work. So we spanned from, from one roof edge to the other. Somebody did a quick sketch um, to see how it would look. And, uh, and so we just went for it. We just designed it basically around uh, the, the amount of arch steel panels that we, were, we had access to. And so then we were able to, a contractor, a local contractor, had a, a couple of these um, double door units left over from a, from a ranch job. And so we were able to get these for about half price. And, um, and then the homeowner also had uh, leftover bricks from the construction of his house um, a few years before and asked us if we were able to uh, to fit those into the construction. So he had two different colors and we were able to mix and match and uh, use them also on the inside. The door is locked today, but uh, uh, otherwise we get in. And so, so we were able to do that and then we can walk around up top and I can show you how we ventilated this place. But to start out with, behind the grill here, we have an operable awning window. So we're bringing fresh air in low and I'll show you up top that we have operable awning windows up there so he can always ventilate uh, this space. So we're up on top of the addition that we did and just up here to show that we use operable awning windows up here not only to provide light into the addition but they're also operable and so he can get ventilation from that window down low all the way up through here and in the summertime, the homeowner just keeps these windows cracked and it keeps the space nice and cool. And in the winter, he can close them up or just operate the, the windows as need be. And so, since they are high up on the wall, we ordered um, a, crank, a long crank pole, about an eight foot pole. And where the inside the window, it's hard to see, but there's usually a handle that you would operate the windows. We buy a thing called an adapter nut. We take the handle off and there's a there's a six-sided hex nut that the special handle fits on there so you can stand down low and crank the windows open or close. So to insulate the metal Quonset nut panels was a bit tricky. Um, what we ended up doing was doing a spray foam over the metal panels. We installed two by six um, sleepers on the uh, the Quonset Hut panels. We use two layers of half inch oriented strand board which is also commonly known as OSB. <clears throat> Over that secured to the 2x6 sleepers and then we use this regular galvanized steel corrugated metal roofing on top of that. So the space is insulated. It's probably insulated up to R38 which uh, surpasses code here. Um, you can do more. We felt that was adequate insulation. And so we kind of went the extra step to do spray foam and then do an over roof of metal on top of this, uh, this roof. Well, Quonset Hut is a steel building that was developed in 
World War I by either the British Army or the American military. Uh, it was an easily assembled and dismantled building for, for the military. It was a portable building and it's evolved into galvanized steel arches that are easily erectable, boltable. Um, doesn't take a lot of people to put up a, a Quonset hut building. So essentially a Quonset hut building is something that's a, is a easily assembled steel building. A lot of people use them for agricultural storage, but uh, there's been a growing trend in um, using them for residential housing. And I think, uh, I think using steel is a great option for housing. Um, all the way from Quonset huts to containers because steel is very dismantleable and it's very recyclable and uh, and I feel that uh, part of a sustainable design and building is uh, one of my points of sustainability is whether the building can be easily dismantleable if the building reaches its end of its lifespan and um, you're able to disassemble the building into its parts and pieces and send it all to re recycling facilities. Uh, there's always a question about whether a building is going to last forever. In my opinion, a building, in my experience from what I see about buildings is uh, ownership changes, um, the type of occupancy changes, um, oftentimes buildings still have a lot of viability left, yet a new developer will come in, buy the property, change the, uh, the type of development that they, they want on that property. And what I see is uh, um, buildings being torn down and just sent to the landfill. There's, uh, so if a building can be designed to go from a, uh, cradle to cradle where it can be recycled and, and easily taken down, then I think that adds value to a building. Uh, we can design easily design buildings that will last a thousand years, but in my experience when ownership changes, when neglect happens, um, there's many factors that determine a building's life and fate that is beyond the initial design. Uh, you can see here, this is the systems box. Um, I have opted to split the box in a 45. You can see here, there is a 45 degree angle that splits the lid of the box and the base of the box.